tonight on That's Entertainment. Welcome to CBS. Oh. This is where I like my home away from home. So this is the uh, the hall to the psych ward. So this is kind of our daily routine. We get up in the morning because these guys have to have a hike or they'll destroy my house. <laughs> you had a bad day? Right. You can't put a sign and say, hey, I'm Jacob <laughs> Young. I had a bad day today and my scenes were sucky. We can't not talk about your character. Yes. She's been going a little nuts lately. <laughs> Would you ever wear that on like Bold and Beautiful? Um, well, they, they wouldn't put me, they put me in a suit. And now we're ready to go to the stage. I've got like seven scenes. Um, it should take us about an hour. You gotta, re you gotta forget all the lines you've learned from the day before and then come back. This is Zane, he plays my son on the show. If you're late for work, who's gonna, <laughs> who, do, who do I call? Yeah. But then of course, you know, she she likes the bad boys, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, she finds herself in the situation again. Well, I'm gonna Sounds leave good. you to it. I'll awesome. see you there, man. Awesome. Sounds good. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Marwan, and in tonight's episode of That's Entertainment, we are exclusively hanging out with the stars that have been ruling daytime television for decades around the world with more than 8,500 episodes and counting. I'm talking about the three-time Emmy award-winning daytime drama series, The Bold and the Beautiful. Set in Los Angeles, the story that showcases high fashion, glamour, honor, romance, passion, family, and believe me when I say this, we experienced it all in full glory. So sit back, get comfy, because Dina and I are about to spend some quality time with Heather Tom, AKA Katie Logan, and Jacob Young, AKA Rick Forrester, to give you a glimpse into their life off camera. I am in Glendale, California, standing outside five-time Emmy Award winning actress Heather Tom, who you may know as Katie Logan from The Bold and the Beautiful. It's really bright and early in the morning, and I'm about to find out what kind of routine she undergoes before she gets ready for the big show. Family. Wow. Hi. Oh Hi. Hi. Henry and Ella. Hi. So nice to meet you. You beat the dog crazy. Hi, yeah. guys. Oh, you have a beautiful home, Thank by the way. You. Thank you. Thank it's, you. Uh, I know you're both interior designers, but it's just stunning. Thank I, you. It's really something. Yeah. Hi, little one. You're a star as well, aren't you? Yeah, this is Zane. This is Zane. He plays my son on the show. So, uh, had a very early start, didn't he? Yes. How old was he when he first had his uh, first? Four, four months. months. Yeah. Four months. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a feature on Bold and the Beautiful? Oh, well, we're trying to get him into the opening credits at this point. We think he should be like crawling down the, the catwalk at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Or we, we can walk his hair hair this, Yeah. At this point, he can walk. All yeah. right. Were well, you guys ready? Yeah, let's yeah. go hike. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a little intimidated, no, but no, do you want me to take one of fun. these guys? Uh, you know what? No, I would not wish that on you. No, oh, I really? Can't. Okay. <laughs> of our daily routine we get up in the morning because these guys have to have a hike or they'll destroy my house fair <laughs> and, enough and too. yeah him too <laughs> and uh, and he's got to you know get out and breathe some fresh air too so that he will and this view is just yeah it, it doesn't suck That's, you know? I, I'm speechless yeah how I mean, do you describe this that this is why you live in Los Angeles because you right. can do this year around oh. and it's the extreme baby workout <laughs> I can, you can see, see that see. how many pounds are you carrying on your back right now 28 pounds <laughs> Yeah, you got a good 30, yeah. 30 something packs exactly. on you. And that's a whole nother workout, right? Yeah, that's a like, that's the all dogs course frame. Right. Right yeah. As a matter of fact, I make them really. Yeah, you want to let them run? You guys ready? Ready? You ready? One, two, three. There you go. And then off go. they go. So, how is that though, balancing being a mother and now you guys are your interior designers, you're working on a number of projects, you're a musician, it's busy. Actress. <laughs> you, you, I have, you, don't, you don't sleep. Yeah. yeah and you've got two yeah. dogs as well, just yeah. to add to your commitments. It's, it's honestly, it's great. He's so much fun. And I, I do have the kind of job where I can take him with me. 
which is awesome. And you bring them to work every yeah. day? Well, not every day, but like a lot. Um, so, yeah. and what happens while you're on set doing a scene? Um, I have a, I have an assistant who goes with me, or my mother goes with me sometimes, or my sister. Oh, that's sweet. We have family all the <laughs> way around, and um, it, it's, it works out pretty well. It takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of family, I know that you're, uh, you've been constantly interviewed with your brother, and I know you two yes. have worked together before on uh, yeah, a he's, soap opera. Yeah, he's on Young and the Restless. We worked together on One Life to Live and Young and the Restless, actually, way, way back when. And is that, like, uh, is that a good thing to work with family, to have them so close by? Yeah, it is. It is good. And, and your dogs oh, are going crazy. They're going, they've got yeah. the stick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to grab that? Stick on Earth. Hey, do you want to walk a little bit, bud? Just don't let him get that stick. That's I know. Awesome. Let's see. All right. Here. He's too fast for us, by I the know. way. He's, he's a <laughs> Take it easy. He's, he's like, my first time. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a good hiker. He likes to hike a lot. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah, he's like, um, this uphill part is a little bit... not talk about your character. Yes. She's been going a little nuts lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. Um, I mean, I, you know, she's she's a very emotional uh, girl, and she definitely has had her uh, um, her trials and tribulations. Her, her sister has gone after her man, which is, that's never fun. That scene, by the way, <laughs> was amazing, where you're just going crazy and throwing everything. <laughs> How much you know, leeway do you have to just toss things? Do they tell you throw a few things and you just go nuts or? Um, well, we kind of, we did talk about it because I was like, it was first, at first just like one picture and I was like, no, she should smash this whole thing up. Like, I mean, I've been wanting, I would had been wanting her to kind of go nuts and throw some stuff for a while. And I was like, okay, this is her opportunity to really go crazy. And um, they, you know, we work it out with the directors and with the writer and, um, you know, they give me a, some input, but you know, it's, it's nice that it, it does tend to be a collaboration and, and uh, hopefully it all works out for the best. So where do you see your character going? What are your hopes for her? Um, you know, I, I love that this character has, has grown and um, changed and evolved with, uh, with the story. And um, I, I, I see her, you know, continuing to, you know, grow into an, an independent, ambitious woman. Um, you know, she's kind of a single mom at this point, so that's a new, a new one. She's running a company, you know. So I, I think she's learning how to maneuver um, without a man. Um, which is interesting, and then of course we got to get a man in there because it's daytime and it's all about romance. So uh, she'll, she'll be looking for a new love. You uh, would you if you knew her in person, would you give her any advice? Oh gosh, um, I you know she tends you must to get frustrated with your character sometimes. Sometimes right? I do, and just that she just she you know I, I think sometimes she lets people walk on her a little bit. Um, so I like when she finally stands up and asserts herself and says, you know, I'm not going to take this anymore. Um, but then of course, you know, she, she likes the bad boys. So what are you going to do? Yeah, she finds herself in the situation again, <laughs> but that's, that's awesome. I mean, as long as it keeps going and going. So, so this is it. This is my morning routine and, uh, we've, we've lost the husband yeah, and I know. kid though. I noticed that. Yeah, the <laughs> and the baby dogs. Is, he's going to the top. Well, <laughs> Here they are. are. Yes. Yeah, so I guess that's our, uh, that's our cue to leave. Cue it's to definitely leave. time to go to work so I'm ready and uh, and I'll be seeing you there too right yeah yeah you get a little glammed up and you ready, ready to, to go, go to work Ella let's go to work <laughs> that's gotta work coming up big quarter we've got young the rest is on one side price is right on the other they're shooting right now so we have to be super quiet okay. hey I'm Jacob Young. I had a bad day today, and my scenes were sucky. So this is the uh, the hall to the psych ward. That plays out later. Welcome to CBS. Oh, this is where I like my home away from home. So, how often are you here? Um, we're here. We, we shoot four days a week. Big quarter. We've got Young the Russes on one side, Price is Right on the other, and then we're on at stage 31. I, I spotted the Price is Right. Yes. I was really excited about that. And makeup is down this way. This is where the, all the magic happens. 
So how long do you spend in hair and makeup? Um, about an hour, hour and a half. So is there ever a point where you just don't ever want to come in and get your makeup done again? Because I imagine that gets frustrating day after day. Yeah, I don't, know. You have to plug your ears. Yeah, the problem <laughs> is, is that I honestly, I'm not really great at sitting in the makeup chair, as Chris knows. I get very impatient. And so um, I just like to get it done as quickly as possible. And thankfully, we've worked together for so long that um, it's just, it, it really is like we could do this in our sleep. So. Yeah, there's so many schedules up right here. It's actually kind of intimidating. I know. Well, we work really, really fast, and we do a lot of items in a day and a lot of pages in a day. So, uh, what would you say? How many pages on average? Um, you know, if you're in a heavy storyline, you could easily have 15 to 20 scenes in a row. I mean, we've had days like that for sure. So you could easily have, you know, a good 50 pages in a day. How long does that take to memorize? Um, well, I've been doing it for 23 years. Oh, it takes me like so. a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like clockwork. I, you know, it just kind of it goes in my head. I have really great short-term memory. It goes in my head, comes out of my mouth, and then it's gone forever. Like, don't ask me to do it again. That's so. amazing. Okay, so after this magic happens, then we come in here for this this half of the magic. <laughs> the, hair. the hair room. Yeah. This is where the hair magic happens. Yes, yes, right. because I I know this is how I always look when I go on a hike, um, <laughs> but not really. So Michelle is a, is an expert at making it all smooth and. Lovely. You know what I'm wondering about though is uh, is is wardrobe as well. What happens with that? Is, do um, you get they, outfits for every show. Yeah, yeah. They um they you know they shop for us. Our character has a certain look, and so we can kind of um we can choose what we wear by within the parameters of what our character would wear. So do you get to keep your clothes? Item twelve. Item twelve. Um, we <laughs> don't get to keep the clothes, but we can borrow them. Okay. That's so good. it's kind of like it's kind of the best of both worlds. You're only yeah. gonna wear them a couple times. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Okay, so we've seen hair, makeup, wardrobe, yes. fully now. coiffed, and now we're ready to go to the stage. I've got like seven scenes. Um, it should take us about an hour. We we tend to crack them out, so let's rock and roll. Let's do it. They're shooting right now, so we have to be super quiet. All right, so uh, so yeah, so this is uh, the executive set. I'm just uh, you know, just getting ready to uh, you know get out of here. Um, obviously, another script to study. Are Let's you say. done for the? Are you done for this week or? Well, I'm done for today. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, it's like it's so reciprocal. I mean, you go home, you feel like you've never left this place, and you you gotta re you gotta forget all the lines you've learned from the day before, and then come back. With That's the a whole... lot of lines. It reminds yeah. me of like school and university, like st like you still studying, right? Yeah, yeah, we still yeah all the time. To me, it feels like um, it's like a new play every single day, right? right? It's uh, it, but it's also fantastic because it's unlike any other medium because you can actually throw the day away. If you had a bad day, right. you can't put a sign and say, "Hey, I'm Jacob <laughs> Young. I had a bad day today, and my scenes were sucky." You know, <laughs> um, it's not like that. You just you let it go. Right. Nobody's ever gonna see it again. Well, I mean, now with the internet and YouTube yeah, and everything, true. they do. They can see it, but you know, most of the time, even half, halfway, if you feel like you only did so so. Mm -hmm. That still looks great to a lot of people. Right, right. So yeah, I'm I'm finished. It's uh, time to get out of here and uh, you know get some much needed R and R. And you gotta memorize your lines for tomorrow. Don't forget that. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, oh, so this is the uh, the hall to the psych ward. Or no, <laughs> I mean the actors' dressing rooms. Uh, uh, no, actually, uh, this hallway, as you can see, is very like long and daunting. But Drew Carey from The Price is Right shares down here, so oh, that's nice. pretty cool. Uh, this is me, right, 33 cool. Virginia. Do you spend a lot of time in here? Uh, well, most of my time, uh, you know, I'm here because, you know, of course, we're learning right, right. massive amounts of dollars. Is there anything you like to have in here, like, you know, scented candles or white towels or blue yeah, put little M &Ms. rose petals on my pillow. Yeah. And... <laughs> Nothing can, like can, that. Can get romantic with myself? No, no. Well, it, is the bold and, it is the bold and the beautiful, all right? You never know what's going to happen, right? This, this is true, right. it's true. I know but, it's like the bike gear as well, so you like, are you uh... Yeah, I, yeah, I, you know, I've been, uh, I've been riding motorcycles, ATV, I mean, since I was a kid, like, mm -hmm. I mean, four or five years old I started, so, um, yeah, I still keep with the tradition. Plus, 
If you know anything about Los Angeles and you know anything about traffic, that is true. I mean, if you're stuck, you're just stuck. I love the pictures. I mean, did you put them up yourself? Yeah, you know, actually, I, I you know, like a lot of actors, entertainment people, you know, I love the people that, you know, they carve the path, so mm -hmm. to speak. And so I, I, I love to pay homage to that. Nice. And so these are some of my heroes, you know, Vincent Price, Marlon Brando, Betty Davis. Uh, but you know, this one is, is like a total secret though because nobody really knows that this actually came uh, from Marlon Brando's estate. Oh wow. This is from after he passed away, the Christie's auction. So it's actually, it's, collector's it's probably item. worth something, nice. but uh, I don't really tell many people that, but <laughs> you guys got the inside. So. All right, cool, we probably should get out of here. Yeah, we should. Yeah, so now this is my favorite part of the day, really, because, uh, you know, I know I'm going home. Nice. <laughs> it's always good to go home, right? It is. So this is the bike here. It's, it's beautiful. You know, thanks. I always wanted to ride a bike, but I never got my bike license, but I might go back to Dubai and actually get it. You know, you know, it, it, I enjoy it very much. You just got, you got to be very careful. I've been riding my entire life, so, yeah. um, you know, it's like... You just gotta be, you, know, you gotta be a defensive and offensive rider at the same time. You have to be sensible, right? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I can't be tweeting or texting while I'm riding this. That's, well, that's, a, that's impossible. Not while you're riding at the same time, <laughs> but maybe when you stop at a light, perhaps. See, I'm using my phone right now, as a, but uh, you know, because I, I like to listen to tunes while I'm, nice. while, I'm uh, while I'm going at it. So I'm gonna throw some Pandora up on there, but not loud enough that I can't hear other vehicles. Safety first, kids. Safety first. <laughs> Sounds good, out. man. Well, I'm going to leave good? you to it. I'll awesome. see you there, man. Awesome. Sounds good. Coming up. So this is... We're down the beach. We're up on a hill enough that I can see the ocean from oh, my place beautiful. too. As soon as I hit that door yeah. on my way out, I'm done. Cool. You got your back. That's on its way next. I was expecting a Harley. What happened? Well, you know, I mean, I can't exactly ride my bike down here oh, on, the, right. on the pier, so we got to uh, got to bring the other bike. Right, right, right. The bicycle. I, mean, I was just expecting like this a big noise and sound when you came in. Well, didn't you hear my bell? I heard the little skid you did Bring. though. <laughs> so this is Redon the Beach that you were talking. Yeah, this is Redon the Beach. I love it. Pier. You know, it's it's an old pier that's under a whole uh, remodel. Mm -hmm. I think they're starting to do a bunch of new stuff down here. So. Uh, so it's uh, it's it's great. It's a great place to live. It's so safe. you it's like a walk like you bike straight from the house to here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm only a couple blocks away, man. So I mean, honestly, it's walkable. It's just, nice. You know, a bike makes it a lot faster. So hey, hey let me go ahead and take you down this way and show you a few things. So yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of things here. Uh, you know, uh, things for the tourists, things for the people that actually live here. But one of my favorite things is uh, Old Tony's right here. Uh, it's been here since the 1950s, right. maybe even earlier. Um, and every major celebrity who's ever like lived, basically, <laughs> mm -hmm. is sat up in that crow's nest and they have their autograph and, uh, you know, it's all framed. But uh, it's funny, you can see all the all the great celebrities that have visited Old Tony's. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm so. sure you've been in there yourself as well, right? Oh, yeah, many times. <laughs> yeah, they do uh, a great Mai Tai, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here we are out on the point. And, you know, if you look to your left, you can see Palos Verdes. There's the beautiful bluffs out there. Lots and lots of sea life out there. We had orca whales just uh, a couple weeks ago. They just came through. And then all the way off to the right here is Malibu. And if you trace it all the way up to where you can kind of see where it ends, that's Point Doom, going into the Ventura County line. Um, Santa Monica's back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And of course the marina, 
And uh, this little inlet's kind of cool because under the pier you get a lot of uh, dolphins that will come through. Oh, really? And uh, they'll play around in here. And sometimes people could just be right on the edge, just watching and put on a show. We, we have dolphins in Dubai, but we have to go to the Atlantis so like you can swim with them and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's your house? Like, is it? Well, it's it's up over. You know, it's like condominiums and stuff that are close here. And of course, these are restaurants and stuff. But I'm back a little bit where where they have single family homes. Right. But we're up on a hill enough that I can see the ocean from oh, my beautiful. place too. So. It gives it that nice, uh, like you're still at the beach feeling while you're yeah. at home. I love this, like fresh air, the sun, the beach, good yeah. weather, good California. Good seafood. Oh, we got it food. all there. I'm, I'm actually hungry. I could eat some food right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, no doubt. Actually, I got a great place, Barney's Beanery. We were just talking about it. Oh, yeah. The, you the place we just walked by? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's Why go. don't we go check that out? All right. time on the beach oh yeah no we come down all the time I mean you know once my son realized we were only blocks away he was like every day dad let's go down to the beach let's go to the water so we do it we do it a lot man we love the picnic and, and why'd you pick this spot over here I, mean, I love it it looks great oh. I love the you know the stuff that you have on the wall and all yeah, that Barney's Beanery this is a, this is a great spot man it's a historical place for musicians from the 60s all the way to you know today and it's still a popular hang it's all over and Redondo Beach just got one which uh, uh, I'm really excited about and uh, it's funny you mentioned that because um, you see these plates right here this whole line I know some of them are like 1965 yeah. and 73 and I donated those what you were you were alive in '65? Yeah. Well, no, I mean like I wasn't living back then. Oh. But I, of course, I I, I donated them because I collect them. Actually. Right, right, yes. right. So listen, I mean when I watch you on Bold and Beautiful, it's like you know it's always like in an office, in a bedroom, uh, the shower scenes and all that. But like this <laughs> the shower is, scenes, this is completely different over here. You know, beach life scene. You like it? A, I don't think you ever would you ever wear that on like Bold and Beautiful. No, um, well, they they wouldn't put me they would put me in a suit, man. It's right. like it's just how they uh, they do it. There, so like yeah. how you know is it, do you have to come Completely be someone else like Rick and you. You, you know, a long time ago, I used to take my work home with me because you know you're always thinking, did I do a good job? And so at one point, I think in my life, it felt that way. But right. now I've completely learned to detach. As soon as I hit that door yeah. on my way out, I'm done. It's no longer Rick Forrester. It's Jacob Young all the way home. Right, you know? right, right, right. Yeah. So what is the? What, give us like a Rick Forrester moment right now. Like, does your voice actually change? You. No, you, you, you know, I, no, you know, I think it's more of just like, it's a more of a physical, it's more of a physical thing, you know, he just becomes a little more, I think, my posture becomes a slightly different, and everything that I, you know, I say, is just a little more, there's more intention to it, Right. you know, I'm trying to look through people, because he's, he's kind of a powerful guy, so, yeah, yeah. he's a slow, steady, methodical, Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you spend a lot of time like uh, going over your, you know, your show, like you know what it's like? And yeah, I mean, there's, you know, uh, studying is everything. Right. I mean, uh, the more you know about the scene, the more you can bring to the scene. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's always the same questions, kind of like what a newspaper or a journalist would do. You know, you're always, uh, always asking who, what, when, where, why. Right, right. Get to the bottom of the story. Why am I saying this? Who am I saying it to? And what's the reason I'm saying right. it? You know. So um, if you can answer those questions, you bring it to life. So uh, we spend a lot of time studying and preparing. Yeah. So studying never stops. It, yeah, I mean, as long as you're working, you're in a steady storyline. I mean, it could be so like, I mean, two shows one day, two shows the next day, three shows the next day. So it's like, when do you find the time to actually be able to put all that in? But somehow we manage, and it's great because my, my castmates, everybody is, you know, we're all working towards that same common goal. So we all take time to work with each other, make sure we rehearse. I mean, it's huge. You know, rehearsal's everything. Who are you, who are you closest to from the cast? Um, who's well, got your back? Well, if you're late for work, who's gonna? <laughs> who, do, who do I call? Yeah. Um, well, you know, honestly, it's, it's a great team. And I, I really could probably pick up the phone and call anybody and say, hey, I'm running behind because I never am late. <laughs> That's how I, I roll. But, 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 uh, but honestly, um, you know, John McCook. I am John McCook. Play Eric Forrester on the Bold and the Beautiful, and you're watching That's Entertainment. I remember I was 17 years old. I'd, I'd never done anything like this before in my life, and I, and I went to him. The first guy, I got this magazine, and I said, John, you know, um, I'm in this magazine. I can't believe it. And he just laughed, and he laughed, and he was actually laughing at me. That's what he was doing. Because <laughs> he, he, what he said to me is he put the magazine in, and he grabbed my hand, and he said, 
and that's just one of many to come. And and sure enough, he was right, you know. And uh, he's just been he's just been a great you know person in my life, and I always feel like I could bounce anything off of him, right. like a dad, like yeah, a real dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the Foresters have been a family for so long, and you know you came into that family, you know, with John being on the show for 27 years and Kelly yeah. as well. So does it really actually feel like a family? Like anybody, you know, you don't want to make a mistake, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to always have somebody who's there to have your back. And they do. Right. Nobody's going to make fun of you because you made a mistake. Because everybody makes mistakes. You right, know? right, right. You know. So, but anyway, like you know, how I feel about them, um, I really don't want to be interrupted right now because actually the show is uh, it's getting ready to come on. So. Oh, right now. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Got it. I can do it. I'm okay. okay. All right. I'm okay. That motorcycle of Steffi's is cursed. I don't know why you'd ever get on it. I don't remember who is who is Steffi. Well, if there's one good thing that happened from your accident. Listen, um, I don't know how to say this. I think it's over between us. Liam, no, this is no time for you to be making life-changing decisions. I'm in love with Brooke. No. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, she was visiting me every day at the hospital, and then one thing led to another, and then it just kind of turned into... You're a... in love with my mother? This, no. This can't be happening to I, me again. I thought this might be difficult for you, so... I asked her to join us. What? Oh, sweetheart. I can see Liam told you our news. Who is she? Liam, this is not my mother. <sighs> what? I, I told you she was going to be difficult. Yeah. Uh, she's lying. Liam, she's lying to you. If you don't believe me, call your dad. He knows. I mean, he and my mom are about to get married. I'm afraid that's over. I mean, you can ask him yourself. Dad, over here. Out for some fresh air, son? Yeah. Oh. This is not Bill Spencer. What? I think Liam knows who his father is. Uh, yeah. We're all friends now, aren't we, Bill? Well, I can't get in the way of true love. Who are you people? <sighs> Darling, Bill actually has a few uh, checks for you to sign. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it. I'm calling the police. I told you she was a little unstable from the start. No kidding. Is, uh, is everything all right? Is, is there a problem, darling? Uh, yeah. How do I spell my name again? L. L. I. A. M. So, Dina, do you think we have a chance at maybe getting into sitcoms after this? No, I had three lines and I forgot one of them. It was yeah. so embarrassing. I got, like 60 people there. I gotta say though, it was one of the best experiences ever because just growing up and be, you know watching that show and yeah. then being on the set and uh, you know doing those lines, even though it was nerve wracking for me because I was so nervous. But <laughs> well, now I, we have a souvenir as well. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, that's it for tonight's show. As a matter of fact, for the entire season. Yep, it's sad but true. While we go on a season break, make sure you do check out our Facebook page as we're going to continue dropping hot entertainment news, gossip, and of course, post competitions throughout. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, reach us out in any way possible. In the meantime, stay safe, have a good night, and a great summer.